Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today's April 27th, 2021. I took the, work, took the uh, day off of work today because really nice 80 degree day. I have to get my bees. Concerned about a few hives swarming. I'm a little late. I got some there. But it's became a little bit bigger a pickle. Uh, let me show you what's going on and uh, we'll go from there. So here we are, right side of the out yard and I'm set up and I had one swarm there. Notice one, I was coming up here. I actually caught a swarm this morning in neighboring town and uh, brought over in hive that it's actually over there. It's got the, um, you can see the, the BVAC uh, fixture fitting on top of it right that way. So I come back here, get it set in place and I had one hive swarm. And then as I get this box here, I'm walking by the apiary and just because the amount of pheromones, I've got another swarm. So what I have to do is get these, because I know the queen's in, the bo in this box here and probably get all these bees shoveled around there. Then I'll probably have to take another box, set it on top of this one here, face a different direction probably, and shake that cluster there into there. So I got two swarms to deal with today these came from my own out yard this top one here i know what high bit came from so i'm probably going to get it into a box and just paper it back in i'm um, going to get it into this uh a hive setup real quick so it's there temporarily then i'm going to go into the hive it came from go check see what happened there with the, in swarm cells get them yanked out uh taken out there and reintroduce this colony so if you knew where it came from you can reintroduce it that same day it's not going to be an issue. You don't have to paper it. You can paper if you want to. But uh, let me go get my equipment. I'm going to need to, I guess, some hot boxes. I'm going to have to give me another lid and base um, to set on top of this thing and get ready to drop this one into there. So hopefully that queen is in there. I mean, I got some bees from here, but I think it's from that bottom box. Um, that's what I'm hoping on because the majority of this cluster is here, but that's where the original cluster was that I dropped it. So she may have some pheromone don't know but that's the plan here i know that hopefully the majority of these bees did come from that one colony that, that inside here inside the apiary and uh gonna make this happen so let me go get some equipment and make this happen here's a mid video tip if you ever get holes in your one glove you see i'm wearing two gloves here you got a hole in the primary one and or you take the gloves off and your hands are sticky but you got to get back in your hives and you're just waiting for your hands to dry off so you can put new nostril gloves back on keep some baby powder with you now I put a little bit on my hands um, and it helps dry up the moisture and get your glove on a lot faster. So that's my tip for this video. Let's get back into the hives. So the last, the top box swarm came from this hive, hive two. And um, there is a lot of swarm cells in this thing here that, that's in this. I've got, let me see here. Let's take this frame. I actually dropped this one, but it'd be all right. There are two right there. Maybe there's four, five. There's five in that little cluster right there. There's five. This frame here has got some. There's six, seven, eight, uh, nine. I'm gonna just change my hands here. Um, give it aside. Yep, there's nine, there's ten, eleven. There's eleven so far. Twelve, thirteen. There's one in the corner, there's 14. Let's check this side out here. Yeah, it's still at 14. Another frame here. There's one there, there's 15. There's another one top there, there's 16. Mm 
And then I got another, I put one in this two frame here. I'll probably end up digging my other two frames out. And where are they at? There's another one there. What was it 18 and I don't remember where my numbers are. Uh, yeah, at least 18 from here. So, yeah. She, of those boxes, swarms there at the top box. She's definitely, uh, yeah, swarming. I mean, no, it came from here. Potentially, I could probably find out what other colony my other ones come from and uh, reint reintroduce the second one because I am trying to reduce my colony numbers here. So I'm not sure what I'll do. You know, I might just end up cutting off the queen cells and redoing it because main thing I've gotten the hive so nuke sold and now it's honey production time. So probably uh probably keep a couple of these queens, cut off the rest. It may seem like a waste, um, but I'm not sure what I'm doing as of yet. And uh, we'll move forward. So let me go ahead and uh, decide what I'm gonna do and get this hive ready to go so I can reintroduce the swarm back to that. So. By the time I get everything done here and everything put together, here's the, there's the main high body. There's the second one here. And uh, there's a, trying to do uh, comb honey there and there's another honey super there. So yeah, I'm gonna just reintroduce uh, these bees back to here. I'm probably the few, I'm gonna just take two frames out of uh, queens and then put everything back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, since the majority of the bees should be back there, I'm gonna go ahead and reintroduce the top box, bring it over here, and I'm gonna set it right on top of these. It'll be a, it'll be a, a temporary three stack. I'll put the honey sippers because uh, they came from here. They should still have the queen for a moment, should be good to go. And I'm not gonna have too much concerns with that. So let me uh, get these things situated and we'll move forward from there. So what I decided to do was just, uh, I took three of the frames, uh, each one of these had two or three queen cells each. Um, there's one frame in each of these boxes and I'll end up having to put a bourbon feeder on there later and I'll give them a foundation frame or a honey frame uh, that I have later and uh, we'll move from there. So let me uh, get busy. So this hive has been reoriented. I went through every frame in the bottom box and uh, cut out every swarm cell, queen cup. Uh, that I noticed on the frame, shook the bees off to make sure there was none on each frame. I did that, so I got that together. This top box here, um, I did the same thing. Went through all the frames to make sure there's no queen cells on those also. Queen cups, just destroyed all those. So even though I'm three frames short now, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to make some foundation frames and put them in there. I'll have to do that this evening. Uh, probably gonna get them installed tomorrow. But the next step is here is I'm not going to newspaper. I'm going to go ahead and get the, the top box hive sitting over there. On the, the two swarms that we caught at the beginning of this video here. Take the top box, bring it over here. And I'm going to just uh, remove the just lift. They should be all probably hanging up on the top of the styrofoam for right now. And I'm just going to bring the whole box over here and uh, set the set it on here. So take it off the hive base and set the box on here. So let me go ahead and get that done. So I brought the box over. Here it is here. You can see all the bees are attached to the frames and majority here are not going anywhere. Hopefully that queen's probably on the center frame here. So what I'm gonna do is just take this, just take the whole box off the base, set it on top of there. Queen should be in it. And then put the queen excluder and the uh, super spec on there. And uh, they'll get her refat back up and hopefully she's reintroduced in this hive. There should be no reason for her to swarm. Here has been started the roar, which means it knows it's queenless, but it'll be fine because it's gonna get its queen back here in a second. So here we go. The hive is together for now. I'm gonna eventually it won't stay like this, probably in a few days. Hopefully the queen's moved down there. Maybe I'll check tomorrow when I put those frames in there um, and shake off whatever's in this box here. Uh, because this box will be removed and we'll get it set back up. And uh all the bees that were had left that swarm area will we'll eventually come back here. So, you know, if you know what hive you're, uh, you got a swarm from, you can reintroduce it. First thing to do is catch said, if you know, confirm that you know that's what hive it came from. Confirm, uh, you basically catch the swarm. And once it's hived, you have it in a box temporarily, 
it'll be it'll be fine for there now then go ahead and orient and go through the the whole stack and remove any swarm cells you may have had from there um, do what you want with them you know i've made uh pulled some and made some put them on my two frames for hopefully queen hatch for for future if needed um, and then basically they're reintroduced there so it's just like nothing really happened uh, that queen should get fattened back up and uh, you should be good to go. Just do your normal checks. I just hadn't had the opportunity. Um, there are still a lot, of bunch of, a few honey frames in here, but once I put front the foundation frames and hopefully they'll start moving honey into the, the supers up here also uh, and give the queen room to lay. That's probably one of the hiccups there, but bees are gonna do what the bees are gonna do. So that's it for this video here. When, uh, so yeah, still got lots to do, lots of work, still nukes to sail. Um, but that was one of the positive head concerns with. I might have to go through this one here next and uh, see what it's see what's going on with it. Make sure it's alright. It's probably in the same boat. But don't know until I get in there. Because it definitely needs something to happen to it. I got another maybe one or two more hives that are just set up like this, and I'd rather have I'd rather have a double stack. So I got to figure out if I'm gonna combine uh, these bees with another one. Newspaper man, don't know. So that's it for this video. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And see what happens when you have two swarms laying in the same tree what you have to do for it and basically how to reintroduce them to a stack so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and until next time i'll talk to you guys later bye bye